welcome back to In the Kitchen with CCE. And today we are at the Regional Farmers Market in the Commercial Kitchen. My name is Ann Supa and I am a nutrition educator here at Cornell Cooperative Extension. The featured item for the month at the Farmers Market is spinach. So let's look at what we're gonna to make today. We are going to make a summer spinach pesto pasta dish and we are going to include the following ingredients. We are going to have some salt and pepper for taste, three or four cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of olive oil, some basil leaves, I have like four or five, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, a half a cup of milk, fresh spinach, and this is around 16 ounces, and a box of whole grain pasta. So let's get started here today. First off, we're going to add two tablespoons of olive oil to our skillet. Then we're going to add our three to four cloves of garlic, and I have sliced it up nice and thin. We're going to saute it. Make sure you watch it carefully because it will burn the, the garlic while it's cooking. So we're also going to add our basil to the bowl that we're going to saute our spinach now. Now remember, our spinach looks like it's gonna be a, a big dish of spinach, but it wilts down. So we're just gonna cook it on low heat, let it wilt down, and once it is done, it will look like this. It's all fine and wilted. We got our garlic in there. And now we're gonna add our salt and pepper to taste. And you know what, if it's not quite enough salt, at the end you could always add more, but sorry, you can't take it away once you put it in there. So we're gonna add the spinach and garlic and the salt and pepper to the blender. We're gonna add our half a cup of Parmesan cheese around a half a cup of milk. And you might wanna keep a little extra milk handy because if it's not the right consistency for the pesto, you might wanna add a little more. And we're just gonna mix it up until it's nice and smooth. Something like that. Now we're gonna add our pesto back into the saucepan. And you're probably wondering, what great benefits does spinach have? Spinach is low in calories, it's high in fiber, it has a lot of potassium, and if you are trying to get some more iron into your diet, but don't wanna eat animal um, iron, then you can use it as a great source of iron from a plant source. So it's always good to know what your options are out there. So we're gonna take it back over and we're just gonna lightly warm this um, pesto up over the stove. And then comes the fun part. We are going to add some whole grain pasta. And a lot of people are really hesitant about whole grain pasta but it is an amazing source of fiber. So you're getting two great fiber sources in one ditch. And we know that fiber does a lot of good things for our body. We're just gonna gently mix in the spinach pesto in here. Gonna add some more pasta. You might not need the whole thing of spinach, um, I'm sorry, pasta. Because everybody has likes and dislikes, I'm gonna add about that much more. And look at that color, it's bright and green. Once you get it all mixed in, your family will never know you used a whole grain pasta on them. And it's a great way to add the whole grains into your family's meals. Then we're just gonna take it back to the stove. We're gonna give it a good warming through and through. And then we are going to serve it up. And for our serving of this, we are going to put it in a bowl. And 
we're going to add a couple other ingredients because you know what? We all eat with our eyes. So we want it to look good. It's a nice green color. But I did a few um, roasted tomatoes to add on top to just give it a little more flavor, a little more color. Gonna add some more Parmesan cheese on top there. And why not? Top it off with a couple pieces of basil. And there you have it. It is our summer spinach pesto pasta. And all these, not all the ingredients, so some of the ingredients can be found in the farmer's market here on Upper Front Street every Saturday from nine to one. Come in, look for some fresh spinach, try this dish at home, and please join us next month for In the Kitchen with CCE.